Hi everyone, Jillian here. So I wanted to offer you a daily pull today, a daily card draw, but I really wanted to get into the forest. So I'm in the Whistler Forest today. It's warm, there's a nice breeze. You may be able to hear the creek in the background. This is my happy place. This is where I really get to recharge. So I thought I would offer this reading for you today from here, from one of my favorite places. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Jillian. I read tarot and oracle cards and um, I do spiritual healing. And um, this focus of this channel has really shifted over the last six months to a year. I taught yoga for nearly 10 years and I've been uh, transitioning into this work as of late. So thank you for uh, tuning in. And today we're working with the Tarot of the Hidden Realm. This is the backing of it. I actually just got this deck yesterday, so I'm still just getting to know it and um, learning to tap into its energy. It comes from a with a beautiful book. Let's see that. And um, it's written by Barbara Moore. And in interestingly, she's actually the first uh, tarot book that I ever read was written by her. So I feel like I'm really drawn to her energy and to the energy of the Fae or fairies. And that's what this deck is uh, all about, the energy of the Fae and tapping into the magical energy of the fairies. So I'll do a one card draw for you today. Okay. So this is your card. Can you see that? And the seven of wands. I'll just give you a moment to take it, take in that image, this beautiful image. And wands in the tarot are associated with the element of fire. And fire has to do with our passion, our will, our solar plexus plexus chakra that's what I think about the chakra actually my necklace that I'm wearing today is a citrine and it sits on my solar plexus and it's this idea of personal will courage and um, stepping into that fire that passion that life purpose so I'm getting to know this deck so I'm gonna read to you a little excerpt from the book and what Barbara has to say about the seven of wands And if you're looking to get into tarot or learn more about the tarot, Barbara Moore has some really great books. I might link her website in the description below. Okay, so the Seven of Wands. It says in here, the divinatory meaning, there are times when you are certain of what you want to do, and what you feel you must do. When you hesitate though, uncertainty creeps in. Other questions your decisions. Others question your decisions. You question yourself. You doubt yourself. The clarity you had is attacked and weakened. The energy of the initial decision still fills your soul, but now it has no outlet and becomes increasingly painful. The Seven of Wands shows this moment, but also the next, when you are reminded of your initial quest. The crust of paralysis breaks away, freeing you to do what you know you must. It was in you all along, buried but still alive. Now you are free and unafraid. And there's your message for today, the Seven of Wands, tapping into that power, that inner power, really listening to your intuition, that inner guidance, and being unstoppable. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys soon.